Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnus, being to Griffin Santo Pietro, about season five of Cobra Kai, which is streaming now worldwide on Netflix. Welcome to the show. Thank you so well, welcome back to the show. So good to see you again, man. <laughs> Yeah, good to see you too. Three-time member club of Pop Turner. Yes. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, it's pretty awesome because season four was a massive season for Anthony. So I'm just curious for you, kind of going in, knowing you're coming back for season five, what's that mindset knowing there was like a lot that kind of happened with Anthony's growth in four for season five? What's that like for you? That was really great. I mean... um, the beginning of season four, uh, I talked to um, the writers about, you know, what Anthony and Kenny's story was going to be. And they and they mentioned how they wanted it to switch in the next season. So yeah. Dallas and I both knew had like we saw that coming, um, yeah. but it was still really fun to get to, to play around with that. Um, and then also discover that there's more that we had more to do outside of our rivalry. You know, each of our characters got their own growth and storyline. Um, so really just exciting and fun it's true so because that's my next question i mean we we picked back up where we left off with the anthony and kenny rivalry mm -hmm. but there's a lot more that's kind of happened as well that we're going to talk about but what what was it like getting like working back with dallas and getting right back into that where it's almost like you never left almost right yeah um that was really great um i think that um you know, first scene in season four, when we, uh, season five, when we when we ran into each other again was really fun. Um, and to kind of get to reverse our roles from the last season was not only as actors, but also as just like friends was really fun to play with. Um, yeah. To go from the bully to the victim um, and for him to do the opposite was really fun. Absolutely. I still think I told I talked to you about this last time because I think our last interview was kind of like like the we were able to talk about what happened in the in the in the series. I think the first interview we ever did was like before it came out, so we couldn't really talk about anything. But the library scene of season four is still one of my favorite things ever, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Still one of my favorite things of all time. <laughs> there's some moments in this season that are good. There's the water park scenes. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a lot of good things this season. No, it's great uh, to hear about that. So on the kind of topic that you are, like Anthony is up to other things rather than just the kind of bully storyline with Kenny, there's obviously, this is the first time we've seen like Anthony like be really interested and involved with karate. Like he's actually kind of joining a dojo and everything. It's yeah. pretty exciting for you, but that's exciting for the fan base that's been kind of have all these theories like about when is Anthony going to join Miyagi-Do? Is he going to join Cobra Kai? So we finally get those answers that he's kind of getting involved now. What was that like preparation-wise for you, knowing that like, Anthony was going to be part of like a dojo this season? Um, that was really interesting. Um, because you know, at the time when Dallas like beat me up in the locker room, that's when I kind of got the message that yeah. I was going to have to start entering this world. Um, and outside of Cobra, I started boxing, which has been really fun to kind of get me ready for it. Um, and I think that just being around, cause you know, I'm still kind of the most recent one to join it during the karate world. Um, and everyone is so good that I, I feel like I could kind of find a mentor in anybody to help yeah. me um even if i didn't prepare on my own so it really felt like a safe environment to learn for the first time whereas if i was alone learning it might not have gone as well well it's interesting too because you know they're gonna see it uh well i don't want to go into super big spoilers because i think it's pretty mm. cool but you know anthony is learning the ropes right but he's realizing that he has some skills yeah. that can kind of help situations, right? Hashtag protect the egg, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> Which is really cool. What was that scene like specifically? What can you tell me about that scene? Because that just seemed like chaos. Like I'm, I'm trying to imagine was... what was that. <laughs> yeah, that, so the um, first protect the egg scene was so much fun. Because when it was like my first big action sequence in the show, um, yeah. and I didn't have to do like, like it was fun because like everyone else was like, you know, fighting chosen, and I was like in the background trying. I was uh, I was attempting <laughs> to do like Spider Man positions, is what I called it, um, on the ground. But it was really fun to kind of see Anthony in a like a leadership 
yes. kind of tactician role, which I think is really interesting for him. And I think he should continue in that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that was just a lot of fun. And then when we got to call back on it in the finale, that, mm-hmm. would, that felt great. Also, getting back to the water park scene, I just need to ask, uh, is that you in the tubes? Like That is not that's me a in stunt the tubes. Double, that right? is, that I is think stunt. Okay. <laughs> because funny enough, he couldn't, when he falls into the water, he couldn't lift his head out of the water because you'd see it's clearly not me. And so <laughs> when I went back in for ADR, they had to make, they asked me to make water noises because when he falls into the water, it looks like he died because his head never comes out of the water. So it just looks like he started drowning. So I had to go back in and make like my it's water true, noises. Because you hear absolutely that that's why you never know. But you know what? It's funny because um I remember, you know, interviewing yourself, Brock and Jaden and and Dallas for like last season. And it, I got I kept getting it wrong with because I'm obsessed with the, the library scene, right? And I kept <laughs> getting it wrong. I was like, that was you. And it was like, no, that was the stunt double. Or I'd be like, that yeah. was the stunt double. They'd be like, no, that was me. I'm like, damn, like I can't get this right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hard. I mean, they do a pretty good job covering it up. Absolutely. Um, it's pretty exciting to see the growth of Anthony since season one. I mean, it's one of the it, one. Someone can make an argument, Griffin. This is one of the best arcs and growths of yes. all time of a character. <laughs> I feel like you might agree with me on that. You might be biased. Yeah. But you might agree. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. I think it's objective. Is it cool <laughs> to see though? Like, is it really cool to see that growth and where he is now compared to season one? It's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've been just so lucky to be able to have this storyline um, and really fun to kind of see like the way he reacts to kind of being thrown into this karate world versus everyone else who joins it out of like revenge or something, you know, like he kind of finds like a nicer way in. Um, so I think it's just been a lot of fun to get to do. Was it cool to be on a season where, you know, we're back to where we left off with a lot of the kids in the dojos and everything, but we're also kind of seeing a lot of the rivalries renew of, you know, Daniel and Johnny. Like, it was cool to kind of see that, too, when you're reading the scripts as well. Yeah, I think um, this season did a really good job of balancing, like, the old rivalries with the new stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, So getting to read it was just so much fun. Absolutely. What any, I always, you know, I always love asking this question. I mean, season to season, it changes. Any funny Mm -hmm. moments, any cool moments you could tell me about filming season five? Um... Specifically, I don't, think you beat, I don't think you can beat your rap story, uh, your your rap gift story with the the frisbees at the tournament. <laughs> that oh my gosh, that is a good story. I don't know if I can beat that. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think. Oh oh, this is a good one. So the uh, finale scene when like all the people are trying to grab me and I'm in the center of basically that mosh pit of just people. Right, we were basically making it up. There's no choreography to that. We were just trying yeah. to like push into each other. When and you're so on the I iPad, yeah, yeah. yeah when I have the iPad and everyone's coming at me and especially like when there's like the fight happening over there and you just see us in the background, it didn't really matter what we do as long as we're in the thing. So (laughs) what I would do is I would like throw my hand out and I'd slap someone on the forehead. (laughs) Like usually like um, Thomas, one of the stuntmen or like Joe, I would like go out and I'd like give some Dallas, I'd like slap him on the forehead, Um, which became uh, really fun until um, what was it? Joe, I think I slapped really hard and then I got, and then he did the same thing to me the next take. So that was really fun. Just because yeah, it was like <laughs> a big mosh pit. <laughs> well, yeah, because it was... <laughs> that, that, that was like chaotic. And you're waiting. It's like, all right, play the video, Anthony. Let's go. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one was so crazy to film. What was it going was through wild. your mind when you are reading that sequence with the scripts specifically? Because that's like a big scene. And that's a big scene that involves your character, right? <laughs> It, no, really. I when I was reading that, I was so because I was reading like the whole finale fight, and I was like, okay, I know Anthony's there. Yeah. Um, and then I was like reading it, and I was like, where is it? Like, am I am I just like there, but not um doing anything? And then I get the <laughs> scene where, and then I see the bit where it slides over to his feet, and I thought that was just the coolest thing, especially just to incorporate like the iPad into it. And I think um he's a really fun character that um with the technology stuff, and I think yeah. that. He could work really well with like Jacob and uh, Dimitri's characters. Um, and so I think getting to see him kind of find his element in the whole karate thing was really fun. Well, protect the egg beat library scene for me and my favorite Cobra Kai scene. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's good. I, I just I love the library scene. I'm sorry. The it's library great. scene's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Um, no, but the protect the egg is great. Like the that the technically there's two protect the egg scenes. Technically, yes. right? Technically, yeah. The iPad is technically you're, you're protecting the iPad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. Uh, but uh, no, I mean that I, that was just just fun as the the audience member just to watch because it's so chaotic with like chosen testing everyone and you see every member. It was it was that was pretty fun to see. Um, I'm sure it never gets old seeing the amazing global support from the Cobra Kai fans, Griffin. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's it's insane. I mean, to see it every year has been crazy. And it's like keeps. It, it, I feel like it gets bigger and bigger after every season. I think so too. I mean, or maybe people just get more excited about it. But I don't know. It's crazy. Last question before we wrap up. Um, you kind of allude to it a little bit, you know, the new rivalries, old rivalries, everything. Anything else you hope they get out of season five of Cobra Kai, uh, takeaway wise, Griffin? Um, takeaway wise, let me see. I think um, a big takeaway, especially from the finale, is just to see that um, how much higher the stakes have gotten since yeah. like season one and two. Like, you just to see how insane everything is now and i hope that only gets more people hyped for the future because you can only go you can only the, go bigger the finale let's be honest the finale was just pure chaos the last oh yeah i mean it's one of... big fight scene <laughs> it was insane i, I mean, remember was... interviewing joe like the so it's fun when i one time i interviewed joe i didn't see it in advance so he's mm -hmm. telling me about the fight scene and it was the it was the larusso house fight scene at christmas time right and I was like, this is one of the most insane things I've ever seen because that was following the school fight. You know what right, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then it's kind of like, you know, years later, season five. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, we really went up there still. We did. Griffin, always a pleasure catching up. Thank you so much for coming back on Pop Alternative, man. Yes, thank you so much. This is awesome. Your Instagram is Griffin Santo Pietro, right? I believe. Yes. Yes. Griffin Simple. Pietro. Uh, it's streaming now <laughs> worldwide on Netflix, season five of Cobra Kai. So, you know, if they've watched it, you know, chances are if they're watching this interview, they probably watched it already, but you know what they could yeah. do, right? They watch this interview, they could just go watch it again, right? It's there. Exactly. Just pause it and then pause go it, rewind. Watch Absolutely. The <laughs> Well, this has been Pop Turner of YouTube.com slash Pop Turner for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Griffin Sando Pietro. Please add Freddy LaRusso. Season 5 of Cobra Kai streaming now worldwide on Netflix. And PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.